What's going on everyone? It's Sly Tiger with Sly Tiger Survival. Hope you are all doing well. I am doing very good. Just enjoying life. I uh, will be moving soon so I might there might be a short period to where I'm not making videos on a regular basis like I used to make. Um, but this will all change as the holidays come back around I'm sure. Um, now, I was, I'm going to be moving very close by. I'll still be on the Texas-New Mexico border area and uh, in the nice part of El Paso. And uh, it's a real big house. It's, I, well, it's bigger. It's a nice size house. It's a uh, 2,096 feet, I believe, uh, square foot house. And... Uh, it's a nice yard and everything, so I'm really happy. Um, and so, yeah. I also got a pistol today. I, uh, I got the Gen 4 Glock 19. I tried to get the Gen 4 Glock 23, which is the same size model in 40 Smith & Wesson, since I am a big 40 advocate right now, because um, this is uncool. It's an uncool caliber, and uh, I, yeah, according to all the internet commandos, 22 equals 762, and every bullet from a 22 short equals a 50 cal, so they're all identical. The the uh, the modern hollow points that have improved the nine millimeter doesn't apply to 40 and 45 only the nine millimeter increases in diameter so uh, anyway yeah I got the nine millimeter and uh, I, I like it the 15 round magazine capacity so I'm not sad I was gonna um, make it a nine millimeter as soon as possible anyway since Glocks are best I believe in nine millimeter um, whereas my M&P 40 is made from the ground up is a 40 Smith and Wesson, and I think that's why the recoil is so nice on the M&P 40, and that's the least problematic um, pistol of that line. I really think the M&P 40 was the best of all the M&Ps. So, uh, so anyway, um, it really is nice. I get delayed. I've been getting delayed for about a year now. Um, so I, that's going to change soon. I'm going to get a concealed carry. Um, once everything blows over. Um, for those of you that don't know, I had some <clears throat> marital issues a year ago and it's it's all um, turning around. You know, it's like nothing happened, but uh, so anyway, yeah, I'll get my concealed carry and uh, live another day. That way I won't get delayed anymore. Um, so anyway, uh, I was gonna get a bunch of rifles and uh, I decided not to. A few people advised me not to get into like the M77 PS Yugo AK-308, which I was thinking about modding like a uh, Galil 308. And uh, I got some parts for uh, my my rifle of choice, my M70 AB2. I love this fucking rifle. I even got rivets. Um, I was thinking about maybe here pretty soon after I move and everything pick up another under folder maybe uh, this model or the NPAP I already have an NPAP so maybe an NPAP under folder might complement that since it's lighter um, whereas it's a good uh, good point of an under folder is have something light and compact but I, I don't trust myself with an AK pistol um, I don't believe I would follow the law with something I could easily modify into a short barreled rifle. So uh, so I'm trying to do things right. Um, so anyway, not, I never meant to sound like a gun prepper, but to be honest, I cannot stand uh, watching bug out bag videos. I can't stand knife reviews. I can watch an hour long gun reviews, gun review video, but I can't stand everyday carry videos and uh, Shit, it's a fan what if scenarios. Um, but but that's just me. If you like that, it's cool. Um, I watched Seller 559. 
I guess he's not into prepping anymore. I, I guess he's, he kind of saw where a lot of the uh, prepping revolved around fear porn videos for a while. Uh, like all these dates with the asteroid, it was the Mexican border crisis, it was the uh, Bundy Ranch, it was this and that, Ebola, and Jade Helm was the top one.